everyone, assalamualaikum. This is Q from Q's Basic Cooking, and today I'm going to make a shepherd's pie. And for that, I have two pounds of uh, minced keema, two pounds of lean keema, and I have two and a half pounds of uh, boiled potatoes. Okay, all the potatoes are peeled. Those were very um, sticky potatoes, they're very starchy. So I had to peel them with a knife. And now I'm going to mash them and I'll be right back. About the potatoes, you can always mash them with the masher, potato masher. You can use a um, ricer, but I'm using the back of my glass because I want potatoes not mashed mashed. I want them like this, like some bite left into them. So that's why I'm taking my time doing this. See you in a minute. Okay, so you can see my potatoes. Okay, my potatoes are done. They are very sticky and firm potatoes. That's why I picked them because I don't want my shepherd's pie to look like loose, runny, you know, kind of texture. So those are my potatoes, not exactly mashed, but they're broken down. Now I'm going to slice them up. I'm going to add one cup of chopped uh, green onions and one large mild pepper and that would be the green for my potatoes so those are extra because I got my one cup of uh, sliced green onions I'm just going to slice up the pepper and chop it up really good because you don't want chunks coming in somebody's mouth So this is all done, we have the green onion, we have the salt, black pepper and cumin and uh, green chili, that's it, that's all I need in my uh, shepherd's pie. The other people they just use the black pepper and salt, I'm not adding any eggs because my potatoes are good and firm, they can hold their shape. Okay so let's go and work on the meat. So for the keema, for the mince I'm going to use one teaspoon of each crushed coriander, crushed cumin, paprika, salt, and black pepper. Then I have one large onion diced. I have cilantro for uh, extra flavor. I have eight cloves of garlic minced. And instead of carrots and celery with onion and garlic, I'm going to make the base and add uh, green peas, carrots, and corn to it. The mixed vegetables, I took uh, two cups of it. Again, when I say two cups, I mean two margarine cups. This is the standard cup. So two cups of vegetables and uh, two and a half pounds of potatoes, two pounds of uh, keema, one large onion, eight cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of each of the spices and we're ready to go. Three to four tablespoons of oil. I'm doing three, you can do four if you like. One large onion. Garlic. Veggies for the base. We are going to let them soften up, then we'll add the spices to it. Add the spices. added the meat and now after adding the keema to the base I'm going to break it down slowly and uh, I'm going to work on it so I'll be back when all the keema is broken down I'll be back you see the keema the mince is uh, browning and to flavor the meat I'm using fresh cilantro leaves but you can also use um, oregano or whatever you like dry oregano would be good and also it depends on you like i always say you can put more or less whatever spices you want according to your own taste you can use more paprika you can use more salt 
actually I'm going to add a little bit half a teaspoon more of salt so you can always adjust to your own taste if you follow the basic recipe to give it a nice color you can use soy sauce Worcestershire sauce whichever you like just to give it extra color and flavor I'm using soy three spoons of soy sauce three tablespoons that is for two pounds of meat I'm also going to use two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and mix it in that will give it a, a little for my body you see how adding a little bit of all-purpose flour and cook it in is making the meat more um, I don't know how to say it it's more more stable it's not going to be too runny and of course that will enhance the flavors too so another few minutes then I'm going to try to take the oil out the cooking oil I'm going to try to put it on the side and take it out I don't want it in my food always the best way to drain the extra fats out of your food is to push it on the side and then you see I pushed it I pushed it on the side so while I'm doing that all the oil is coming here most of it is from the mince itself so I'm going to take that out that's unnecessary in my shepherd's pie okay so you can see how I scooped out all the oil it's right there all of it is out I'm just waiting a few more seconds to take out whatever is left here just like that I'll scoop it out and then we are ready to go in the oven okay our oven is preheating to 350 Fahrenheit and meat is ready it's settled down and it's in the baking dish and then I'm going to grate some cheese that's the Vermont cheese it's a little bit uh, more flavorful so I'm just going to grate half of it and then top it with the potatoes we topped it with the cheese and now I'm going to put potatoes on top of it. Alrighty. Q's shepherd pie is almost ready to go in the oven. A little bit cheese on it. Alrighty. So let's bake this and I'll see you in half an hour. I will stop it after uh, 15 minutes. Check and then maybe another 5 minutes. So I'll see you later. I just wanted you guys to hear the sizzle that little singing going on in my shepherd's pie that is Q's beautiful yummy shepherd's pie and there it is after 15 minutes I topped it with some dry parmesan and a little bit of red bell pepper and some chives and we are ready I'm ready to eat bismillah let me take some out See, I told you my pie was going to hold. The potatoes were nice and firm, so was the meat. Come right here. I can give a good glimpse from here. Alrighty, so that's my shepherd's pie. Just kidding, I'm fasting. I still have like 15 minutes to go so I can wait that much and don't forget to subscribe share with your family and friends give me some feedback let me know how you like my shepherd's pie I'll see you soon again with something fun something easy something yummy and flavorful thank you for watching Rafa is bye for now